tonight, four children arrested over an inferno that destroyed three Mackay businesses. Thousands of passengers delayed as check-in computers crash across the country. Angry Wynnum residents fight the closure of their emergency department. And Charles and Camilla farewell Australia after meeting our political leaders. This is 7 News with Sharon Gadella. Good evening. Four children have been arrested over an arson attack that destroyed stores and spread toxic smoke over Mackay. Nearby businesses were evacuated and residents were warned to stay indoors with their windows closed. The damage bill is in the millions of dollars. Every fire crew in Mackay rushed to the shopping centre, but they were no match for the inferno. Firefighters tore through roller doors, dousing the ferocious blaze, but the flames were relentless. From the air, it was monitored by the CQ rescue helicopter as toxic smoke spread across Mackay's northern suburbs. It was highly aggressive and absolutely massive fire. Toys R Us was gutted within minutes. Extreme heat split open walls before the roof caved in. Two more stores, Autobahn and Clark Rubber, were destroyed. Very difficult challenge in stopping the fire spreading to the unburnt section of the building. Saturday shoppers were evacuated and nearby businesses shut down. Many watched on until police moved them on, away from billowing smoke. The biggest danger to everyone at the moment is actually the smoke that you can see, it's highly toxic. Police declared a one kilometre exclusion zone closing roads and diverting traffic. Residents were told to stay indoors with the windows shut. The fuel load in the building was very high. As walls caved in, drama unfolded in the car park. Police arrested four children accused of setting the building on fire. This is an absolutely disgraceful act. They are definitely suspects for the offence, there's no doubt about that. A boy and a girl have been released. Two more boys aged 10 and 13 are still being questioned. It'll be a much slower process for business owners and staff. So much damage, it'll take months or longer before they can resume trading. Angie Asimus, 7 News. children questioned after a huge fire tears through a Mackay shopping centre. Three airline computer systems crash, delaying thousands of travellers. Tensions run high as hundreds try to save a Bayside nursing home. And police out in force in an early warning to schoolies. This is Nine News Queensland. Good evening. A Mackay shopping centre has been destroyed in an inferno which police suspect was deliberately lit and caused millions of dollars damage. Customers were still in the centre when the fire started. Four children have been arrested. Where there's smoke, big black billowing clouds of it, there is a massive fire. A blazing inferno punctuated by the sound of groaning, collapsing buildings. You could hear the flames slowly dismantling the Toys R Us store like something from Legoland. It was hard to watch, especially for the toy shop manager. It's not pretty. Thank you. Even as the fire still burned, the level of destruction became increasingly clear. The Clark Rubber and Autobahn stores also gone. Everybody got out. We had time to get all the customers out. It seems this was no accident, but instead an act of senseless destruction. Police took four children into custody, one a 10-year-old boy. It's understood they were asked to leave the Toys R Us store just the day before. Um, they are definitely suspects for the offence, there's no doubt about that. Um, and this is an absolutely disgraceful act. However this started, though, the result is the same. The festive season won't be the same for the people who worked in these businesses. You know, there's families who won't have incomes prior to Christmas all because of some, you know, to be honest, some mongrel lit, lit a fire for whatever reason. Merry Christmas. For Wilmington, 9 News.